You had me, you lost me, and now you want me back. Kim want Pete and Chaney Jones to know I'm that bit and will forever be that bit. What's up, Spicy King, Spicy Queens? I am Spicy AF. Over here, we talk celebrity, political, spiritual, and real life drama. So, if that's your flavor, hit the thumbs up to like this video. Kim is going through a breakup social media crisis. Miss Sex Appeal of the Generations went to her Instagram and posted this. Take a look. Did she hit or miss the mark? Tell me in the comments below. Uh, Kim, the caption says, gym time. But at what point are you lifting the weights? I see sweat. I don't see any bench presses though. <laughs> Not for real, Kim always deliver. But what is the message? Chaney replied, and here's what she had to say. Here's my opinion on this body fight. Kim wants Pete to know you lost this. Kim wearing Kanye Yeezy boots. Want Kanye to know I can have you whenever I want you. Doesn't matter who you're with. And Chaney, there's only one sex icon. No matter what generation we're in, I win. Y'all, that's my opinion on what I think Kim Kardashian is actually saying in her little gym time message. Besides that, did y'all peep? With social media posted, check out what Hollywood Unlocked said. So, not only is it about Kim, Shaden, Pete, Chaney, and Kanye, basically, she's in the middle of it all. But it's also the fact that there are casinos that are betting on who her next lover will be. Can y'all imagine how would you feel? Let me know in the comments below. How would you feel if somebody betted on you and all the different men that you'll be with next? That probably will make you as a woman feel a little bit uncomfortable and, and just a little bit violated, wouldn't it? Well, Chaney is ready to step in the ring. Chaney seems to stay grounded and true to herself. She hasn't fell apart. I mean, her and Kanye broke up. We, we pretty much see that they no longer are together. I feel like, like I said in videos before, that when Chaney was out there on that football field lawn with Justin Combs and whoever else that was, I don't know who that was, but when she was out there with those two men and she was on camera in a thong bikini catching a football, I really feel like that just turned Kanye West off because no man wants to see his woman that he's out here, especially a billionaire, but come on, any man, they don't want to see their woman out on a lawn in a bikini playing football or anything with another man. I mean, how does that make your man look how does that make your relationship shit look even if she wasn't sure about where her relationship status was it was not a good idea to be on no football field or lawn or nowhere else in the setting with that specific outfit she had on with other men it just turns the man off and he cannot trust you i mean look he's already thinking his own ex-wife is a hoe what are you going to think about his new girl that he said on Easy, on his song Easy, and my new beat is bad? Like, he already put you out there as if you were some on some pedestal. And then I think that really, really turned him off, y'all. But like I said, Chaney never fell apart. The people think Kanye and Chaney are done. Meanwhile, she never, ever shed a tear or showed a fear. So that, I say, can get an A+. Plus. And you know what? She is smart. Put to the test, she passes maintaining a 4.0 GPA. Only thing you're gonna get from Chaney is competition, so gear up. Y'all, make sure you hit that like button if you understand what I'm saying. Make sure you also follow me on social media. You can see on Instagram and Twitter, Pete Davidson is done filming, and here is what Kim made him do. Pete Davidson is putting the focus on his mental health. Since April, the Saturday Night Live, Alum has been in trauma therapy largely due to Kanye West's social media posts targeting him throughout his relationship with Kim Kardashian. E! News can confirm. Of course y'all can confirm. 
the, the most recent, just three days after E! News exclusively reported or revealed Pete and Kim broke up, the rapper shared a since-deleted Instagram post of a fake New York Times front page that read, Skeet Davidson is permanently sleep at age 28. It was the latest in a series of social media posts and comments targeting the comedian throughout his nine-month romance with Kanye West's estranged wife. The Grammy winner rapped about being Pete Davidson and his music called him a D-head on social media and more. <laughs> he called him a D-head. I don't remember that. And while Kim and Pete initially tried to ignore Kanye's actions, Kanye refused to back down, even taking aim at Kim, with him later acknowledging his post came off as harassing Kim. I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to hold back, y'all. In March, Pete's best friend Dave Cyrus shared photos of a text exchange between Kanye and Pete, which showed Pete defending Kim in Kanye's post. Kim is literally the best mother I've ever met, Pete wrote in part of the text. What she does for these kids is amazing. You are so effing lucky that she's your kid's mom. I've decided that I'm not going to let you treat us this way anymore and I'm done being quiet. Grow the F up. Kanye responded to the text exchange in a video message. Okay, the boyfriend texts me, antagonizing me, bragging about being in bed with my wife. He said in a sense deleted Instagram clip. I'm like, well, who's watching my children if he's texting me, bragging about being in bed with my wife? However, a source familiar with the situation told E! News Pete had had enough. The, he didn't mind when Kanye was coming after him, the insider said. He's not letting that happen anymore. He's no longer staying silent. I'm about to say this. It ain't your kids! It ain't his kid! Okay, back to the regular schedule program. Not sure if space will work, as the author of this article put it, because space is really what made the passion fizzle out and the reason, one of the contributing factors to why they're no longer together, so they say. My thing is this, can I do peep how you posting those Yeezys and you keep supporting Kanye now that the breakup with you and Pete is in effect, an official, so does that. GPA 4.0, my manipulation psychologist, professional Cheney Jones. And all I'm also saying is don't be playing with Kanye, using Kanye to make Pete jealous and leading him to believe that there's a future, future reconciliation if there really is not one. You're in the middle of it, Kim. You are the main character. You are the actress. You're the one. You have the, the ball in your hands and you are throwing it around to win. But I don't like that because Pete, so-called, is in trauma therapy and blaming Kanye when it's really you. Had you not let those things happen when, when Kanye was screaming this and that about his kids, had the mother of the children put her foot down and say, this is not something I'm going to tolerate, have that removed rip immediately or be gone. Two things you would have had now. You would have had Pete because you stood your ground and you also would not have it be Kanye's fault when it's really not you have to put your foot down you're in the relationship with that man ain't no way it was okay ever okay for Pete to have a 10 year old little girl on his lap that don't that don't go and you are responsible for that but nobody really dragging you for that it's only a handful of people that's dragging you and none of them is in the industry they always at Kanye but they not at Pete who after he got his lick back after he got what he got, you know, I'm in bed with your wife, Fiasca, over Kanye getting upset, Kanye fizzled out and chilled out. Had the media really, really got in Pete's behind as well, then it would have been fair game. Maybe, you know, things wouldn't have escalated, but the articles, they always report, support the others. They never support their own. They never support certain people. Do me a favor. Hit that like button, like this video, leave your comments below, and stay tuned because we got more to come. And follow me on social media also. Peace.